Hello, I'm Koel and we are at the BNI Expo. I have with me Mr. Hawass Muhammad who is into the printing business. So come, let's get to know him better. Um, Mr. Hawass, welcome to BNI Expo and uh, would you mind giving us an overview about your business? Like basically what are the services that you are providing and yeah, what do you do? All right. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, as you said, my name is Awaz Mohamed and I represent my company, Colorline Printing Press. So we are a custom printing and uh, packaging company uh, located in Ajman. We have our own manufacturing setup. So we have multiple verticals when we discuss about printing. Uh, we have a commercial side of printing, uh, wherein we cater to all the office requirements. Uh, we have a packaging sector where we cater to the FNB and the FMCG sectors. So this is our core focus these days uh, because these are a trend. Uh, we have our own production facility and uh, this is exactly how we help our clients. Uh, let's say they have a unique idea with, for them and we can help them execute and bring them to life. So that's the production facility they, that we have. Apart from that, we also have a large format printing division wherein we cater to the branding requirements of uh, the clients. Let's say they need a uh, uh, backdrop for events or vehicle branding. So these are uh, the services that we offer for them. Yeah. All right. And with so much competition all about, I mean, all around, uh, I'm sure there are so many companies in Dubai who are offering similar services as you do. What is that one unique thing about your business which sets you apart from your competitors? That's an interesting one. Yes, for sure. The My USP would be that we offer all of these services under one roof. Uh, and we are not saying this just for the sake of it. We have the manufacturing facility all within one factory. We have a factory facility of 25,000 square feet, wherein we have the latest machineries to cater to these customized requirements. So the advantage is that when we have all these in-house, when the client comes in, they find the solutions under one roof and we are able to give manufacturers rates which the clients are concerned about these days. So I believe that adds value to the clients. True. And last but not the least, uh, we are living in difficult times. So many things have changed post-COVID. So what are the changes that has happened for your industry and how is your business coping up to those changes? How are you adapting to those changes? Right now, uh, luckily COVID for me has been a fantastic uh, event in terms of business. Uh, when we say uh, there's been a major shift uh, in printing to, uh, printing sector. So we have seen a huge increase in demand for the packaging side, uh, especially after COVID. So for my business in particular, we have had a lot many developments when we look into the packaging side of it. Uh, again, considering the current scenario in Dubai, we, have, we can see that there is a ban on plastics and there is a huge requirement for paper bags in the market. Uh, we are launching a paper bag machine in the market uh, in order to cater to the huge requirements, not just in Dubai, but also across GCC. So this is the advancements that we have uh, in terms of our business. Okay, I understand. I just, uh, my previous question, I told you last but not the least, but since it came out on the course of the conversation, I'm interested to know. Uh, don't you think like since you said that now plastic is out of the scene, we are going to have more of paper bags. Do you think that would be a challenge to the environment? Like with all the green initiatives that is going on and with more paper bags coming in, how do you see that scenario fitting in environmentally? Right. Now, for example, uh, when we say paper bags, a lot of the raw materials that we used are recycled paper, uh, recycled raw materials. So there isn't any new uh, material that needs to be uh, manufactured. The existing raw materials can be uh, recycled and reused. So that is one aspect wherein uh, why government and uh, other bodies are promoting these kind of items uh, in the market. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Hawal. So uh, that gives us a lot of insight about your business and wish you good luck going forward in the future. Thank you for joining us Thank today. Thank you so much. All right. Take care.